What's up guys, Oliver, we're back here again. Uh, I'd say we're two and a half weeks out from the show. By the time you see this, two weeks, a little less than two weeks perhaps. Um, we're in the reconstruction phase of this, but we are at a standstill. Uh, a ton of stuff's out at the polisher, chrome shop, powder coat, spring shop, here, there, everywhere, paint shop, we're waiting. So in the meantime, let's look at some stuff that we do have going on. All right, so I'll talk about the stuff that we do have and um, go from there. Basically, I'm working from the back of the bike to the front of the bike. Um, swing arm is back from the powder coat shop. Gloss black, keeping it simple. You know, I had to go through, obviously, chase all the threads, make sure everything's good. The rear subframe, again, gloss black powder coat. That's finished, reinstalled. We're waiting on the rear shock. Is at Race Tech right now, um, getting some service and a black spring, um, getting rid of the orange, uh, going with black. What else? Uh, rear passenger pegs are installed here. These nice little clean passenger floorboards. These look great. Uh, I think once those bags are on here, they're gonna look really good. Toolbox is back from Powder Coat. I believe tomorrow uh, Mario is gonna come over and we're gonna knock out the leather portion of this, the front, the door that's already made, but he's just wrapping it and doing whatever. Um, I mean, the wheels are at power, the wheels are at the chrome shop, axle adjusters are at the chrome shop, the inner fenders at the paint shop, you know, the chain guards at the chrome shop, all, we're just waiting. We're just in a holding pattern right now. There's really not much else we can do. Um, you know, I can start to put this stuff back on, but I'd rather get the shock in there in case I got to mess with some stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much all that's happening there. As you can see, there's no exhaust on this thing right now. Um, the head pipes fully polished, the mid pipe fully polished, the exhaust brackets done, powder coated, ready to go. I just received something in the mail the other day and then back from the polish shop. I mean, come on guys, look at this. You ever seen a full stainless steel Thunderheader? No, you have not. This is the first one, full stainless. They're traditional, baffling. It's, it's exactly Thunderheader. Um, I made the mid pipe and everything, the head pipes. This thing is gonna look so good on here, I can't wait. Um, yeah, man, I'm really excited about this. Full stainless Thunderheader. Things that were here that aren't the seat. The seat we, you know, I, I finished the seat last year, did the trip, whatever. That seat is gonna go into a production seat with Saddleman. We're working on it, um, a nice sleek profile. I'm working on possibly adding a heated function to it, so heated grips meets heated seat. Um, but that'll be like a pro model deal. My seat sold through Saddleman. I'll have them for sale myself on the website. Um, and hopefully all the Saddleman retailers that sell their stuff will also have them. But that's going forward, we're, we're not there yet, we're working on it. Uh, gas tanks, I mean, it's done, you know, the leather's in here, the whole, the whole thing, it's all done. Um, body work is halfway done. It's going back to the paint shop tomorrow, I just had to pull it back and test fit um, a couple last minute things with the fairing and stuff that's happening. Uh, so hopefully I'm going to drop this off tomorrow and then they can jam on this because I need it back soon. Uh, let's see, top tree. You guys never saw it, but it's finished. Uh, it's at the Chrome shop right now. Top tree will also be for sale on the website. Um, I basically kept it very simple. Uh, I made three and a half inch spacing, so AKA any riser up until now pretty much. The risers you have on any of your other bikes will fit on this. These take specific risers, which seem like a lot of people don't like. Um, I also made two sets of holes, so you could run straight risers in the closer position instead of running pullbacks. Or you could run pullbacks if you're really short, you want the further position and pullbacks, you can really pull the bars closer to you. So two different positions. Top trees at the Chrome Shop, have it back Thursday or Friday. Fairing uh, is basically finished, going to the paint shop tomorrow. Um, I had to do some stuff, Saddleman helped me with that immensely. Like I fought the fairing for a while and then we 
went over there and basically kind of remade the whole thing. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's, what's gonna happen, and I mean, you'll see this and hopefully you'll see the bike finished and you'll, maybe you'll notice, maybe you won't, but this tank is way shorter than the stock tank. With the stock fairing, there's a huge gap here. So basically I extended the fairing back to then have the same relief between the tank and the fairing like the factory tank and fairing have. So basically, it'll still have that cool like relief with the bar and shield logo painted on the tank, painted on the fairing, split, just back. So it's gonna be really a lot of work to make it happen, but like really like an OEM look. Hopefully people don't even notice, really. That's like the best compliment. Um, speaker pods, Rockford Fosgate sound system from the ST model, dissected it. Basically like made a hard part and then realized like, man, why am I doing this? We should just 3D print these things. It'd be so much easier and repeatable. So yeah, basically made a set of these and then took them and had them scanned and did the whole thing. So this is the first test print. Um, a couple small revisions to make, but overall, and they're not gonna be white, they'll be black or painted to match. Uh, but yeah, it'll have the Rockford system in here. The amp gets mounted in the tail section factory position, bolt on and off. If you wanna run them, put them on. If you don't wanna run them, four bolts, take it off, put the little wings back on, easy peasy. There's a new windshield being made. It's not here, uh, Clockworks is doing that. Um, I basically like redesigned, reshaped the windshield closer to what I thought a T-Sport windshield looks like. Um, but you know, in, in line with what I have going on with the rest of the bike, so. Lots of stuff happening. It's just kind of a waiting game at this point for a lot of the stuff. A bunch of the parts up here I chromed. Um, the risers are, are at powder coat. The bars, so I made a one inch bar. So my risers that I'm using are one inch. These uh, factory bars are inch and an eighth to seven eighths. So I made a one inch to seven eighths stepped bar. Retained all the factory um, Pan Am hand controls. I was gonna try to switch out to something else, but um, the computer system didn't like it. So we stuck with the stock hand controls, took apart the master cylinders, took apart all the stuff, polished the levers, did a bunch of stuff. That's at the Chrome shop. Another thing I'm really excited about on this, uh, I talked about this in the very first video was this factory hose, anyone that has a Pan Am knows that's a little bit of an issue. It's really close to the, he to the head pipes. Um, Harley did kind of come up with a fix, but it's still, it's sketchy to me. I, I don't like it. So I spoke to Samco about this. Boom, we got a Samco hose kit. They're making this. This is, I think, the first kit because uh, I'm test fitting it and sending it back to them. Uh, I have two of them actually, but um, full silicone hoses going on here. Um, this is at a much different angle. It'll get closer into the radiator. The fact that these are silicone hoses is enough. They won't break versus this rubber hose. Um, and they have the gold foil tape on them so it'll reflect some heat. But you got the main, you got the lower hose, the upper hose, overflow hose, and uh, this little guy, this little overflow hose here. So it's a full kit. Uh, I'm really excited about this. I'm glad to be running this stuff because they make I mean, this is, everybody knows, this is the best stuff that you can get. So, like I said, by the time you guys see this video, we'll probably be under two weeks until the day of the show. So there's a ton more stuff that needs to go back on this bike and things that need to be uh, installed. And like I said, we're in a holding pattern, but it's funny, I spoke to Kevin about this and he was saying, man, it's hard to really envision the bike. In my mind, um, you know, I mean, I, I've seen the, in my mind, I can see the bike finished from day one before I even started it. So after you look at the bike, you know, kind of taken apart for such a long time, you start like your vision maybe gets a little blurred, but like you start putting these couple pieces on and, and like it comes right back. Like, oh yeah, that's exact. It's exactly how I thought it was going to look. I'm really happy with it. It's it just these little things that are starting to happen are really in, you know, in my mind, it's like, 
major puzzle pieces coming together. I know it still looks kind of the same almost or whatever, but it's, it's, it's happening. It's gonna be, if you guys could see, if there was a, if there was a day by day time lapse, you would see what I mean, but um, lots happening right now.